I literally just got home from getting soil for my green stock and I was not expecting it to come today. Um, and it's here so <laughs> i'm so excited that i actually went out and got the soil i got the planter in pink i saw this new color and it was absolutely gorgeous so i'm so happy to have it i did get it in the seven leaf planter again because i knew it had strawberries coming i just said that in my last video all the pink paper this is a mother's day special it's really gray outside because it's supposed to rain originally i was thinking that i would set this up right outside my door but when i got home and i looked over here and remembered that i have the other leaf planter right there even though it, it has um things that they normally say that you can plant in more of the original so it has um, nasturtium, tomato, peppers, um, I planted marigolds from seed, bush beans from seed, stuff like that. And they all seem to be doing well. I am going to keep that one fertilized. But I decided why not plant this pink one right next to it. I'm still debating. I have two um, leaf planters that I planted with um, strawberries on the outside of the entrance of my garden they're the green ones though so what i was thinking was that i would put if i want to i can put the two green ones outside here and then these mismatch color ones because they're the uh well the mismatch color ones i can put outside of my garden i'm not sure um, i may leave them here i'm gonna try it here if I don't really like the way the two different colors next to each other are looking, then I'll move this pink one to the front of my house. But for now, I'm going to just get it set up right here and see if I like it. I'm gonna go get the, the soil. If you are interested in a green stock, um, and especially this new the color that came out, you can use code FAMILY10. Um, this is the new Cherry Blossom Pink. It's so pretty. So it came with a little note from Sydney, little stickers. I always, my kids love to have these green stock stickers. It's starting to drizzle, so let me hurry up and do this. It started raining and my battery died, so I just went ahead and filled up these six tiers while it was raining, but I put my camera inside. I did get three bags of this potting soil, which equals six cubic feet, because each bag is two cubic feet. But I know it only takes five cubic feet. Cubic yard is a cubic feet. Yeah, cubic feet, it only takes five. So I'll have some left over from this bag, and that's fine because I do have, I think, some green stalks that maybe I can top some soil, top off them but we'll see. So now that I got that all set up, I'm gonna add my strawberries in it, water it, and it's gonna be complete. to say this is really really pretty I sprayed it off and watered in the soil and that is really really pretty it is really close it's closer to the front door than this one but that was because that's where the ground was level 
I'm trying to see if I mind it. I don't think so, because I don't think I'm never gonna. I don't think I'm ever gonna look at it from this angle. That door is usually gonna stay open in the summertime. Um, and I actually want to go to Home Depot and get one of those big, flat. Um, I don't know how wide that would be. One of those like walking path stones to put down to really solidify on all of my green stalks. But I'm excited. That's pretty. That's my last thing for today. I just got home and got so excited that it was here. And so I went ahead and planted it. I'm going to actually save this green stock box. Um, because I'm thinking about getting some new wood. Some of my raised beds, uh, the wood is falling off. And when I got... When I made these beds two years ago, I used clearance wood because one, we didn't have that much money and I wanted to start right away. Um, and I knew that eventually that, ooh, I'm gonna throw this in here. I knew eventually that I would need new wood to replace the garden beds. And this year, a lot of my beds, we did transform uh the three by sixes most of them into three by fifteen and i guess this side of the garden uh all the beds are still put together it's it's really some of these beds like this third bed right here is this board has come off and then there's a couple beds down there that way that the wood is starting to fall off but the ones I want to use is the wood that I want to use I was just at Home Depot pricing it when I was getting soil and it's the these I think are I've been saying six inches high but now that I'm looking at them I think they're four inches high and they were six feet wide or long but the ones I want to get so all of these beds are the smaller ones right here are three by six. And so what I'm thinking about doing is changing my three by six beds into four by eights. The reason being is because I laid this landscape fabric down after I got, um, after I already had these raised beds because originally I was thinking that I would um, have wood chips pathways but then when i decided that i didn't want wood chip pathways i put the landscape fabric over and what happens is alongside of the bed they grow weeds and every like i feel like all the time i'm out here or i have the kids out here pulling the weeds at the side of the beds and so what i'm thinking is if i change these beds these three by sixes to four by eights um it still has enough room but then that way I can go over the landscape fabric so that there's not weeds creeping into the beds because if I went over this is three feet and I went over like six inches here and or yeah six inches wide on each side that's putting the weeds in the bed and what I would do is pull them and then lay down cardboard and so that's why I'm keeping that uh green stock um box that it came in so i'm gonna start collecting cardboard again i live right by a dollar general and so they're always willing to give me cardboard but my plan is and i was supposed to look out here the only thing that will change my idea so right now this bed is 15 feet because it was six feet and six feet and then i added in a three i'm pretty sure i had a three foot pathway and i was supposed to get coming out here and get the measuring tape um and so I can keep these three feet or I can make them four by 16. The only one that wouldn't work for is this first bed because it the 15 feet goes exactly up into that blue forever garden bed. And the only other option I have with that forever garden bed is to, I could shorten it, um, take out two panels and shorten it. And then that way I can go out further or the other option is is to keep this first bed 15 feet but then all the other beds will be 16 feet um and the reason why i was supposed to measure is because 
when I was just looking at I was looking at different cuts of lumber in Home Depot and I only I have a truck and our truck bed I think my husband told me was seven feet long or six, six and a half feet long and I don't want to use a trailer I don't want to use the flatbed trailer or the big silver trailer like I want to just use the truck and so what I was thinking was when I was pricing lumber today is getting them in four feet I mean in eight feet and then essentially just um screwing them together and so I did get um screws to make them so if I got like two eight foot boards I would really need four eight foot boards to make both sides 16 feet and then um get an eight piece again cut it in half to do two four piece at the end that would make my rows smaller because this is three feet so again I would come in six inches over each side but that's what I want to so that I'm getting covering these weeds with a thick layer of cardboard and i think that that would help because obviously there's not like weeds growing like here and so if i could lay down put all those weeds well pull these boards pick all those weeds lay down cardboard and then add my new um add my new piece of wood I'm thinking and that would make the wood beds go over the landscape fabric which is what I should have done in the first place but you know it's fine we'll work with what we have to now so you guys let me know what you think should I turn these beds I'm definitely changing these three by sixes um, into four by eights because I have the space for it but let me know if you think if I should make this what should I do should I make them all 16 feet and then just with that blue bed take a panel out to shorten it and then I would have to dig all that soil out and then screw it back in um because I can definitely do it let, let me show you guys so this is literally the well this is literally the only spot right here so it's bumped up right here but I have all this space because it does go in it does slant the garden and so I have so much space to come out this way I was actually even thinking about when you come down this way it gets wider and wider and wider and I was actually even thinking about putting a bed um, you know a small like four by four or two by four bed along the fence or something like that so these definitely can come out a foot same thing with that three by six bed that I have raspberries in. Um, so yeah, all these other beds can definitely come out of foot. It's just that that first one, and it's not like that bed is broken. That's not one of the broken beds, so it's fine for now. Um, the only thing is, is me trying to keep the weeds keep the weeds coming up from the side like that one's about to break and then obviously price too because I want to get treated lumber and I was when I was checking out prices it was obviously more expensive to get treated lumber and then um, since they're so long they do have 16 feet boards but I don't have anything to carry a 16 foot board in and so my options were to get like a 10 foot board and then have like four feet hanging out of the back of the truck but my husband doesn't like that idea so that's why I was thinking about getting two um, eight foot boards sticking them together to make 16 feet um, and then so two eight foot boards sticking them together yeah <sighs> So we shall see. And why'd you try to scare me? I was trying to put it on your shoulder. Well, I don't want a fake frog on my shoulder. They all are real. Ah, the orange frog! Okay. Huh? No, I don't want it. So anyway, <laughs> it's fake. Hey, you guys can turn off the water, please. <laughs> don't come in here, puppy. You guys let me know your thoughts on the beds. I feel like more flowers opened. This morning I was out here and I don't think that there were four flowers in bloom over here 
and three bloomed over here but i'm not complaining i want all the, the roses to bloom and they look really really pretty and then another thing is too with these beds is i wanted them to be higher i think i was saying that they're four i think they're four inches high and the the boards i was pricing were either i was pricing the eight foot high the 10 foot high and then even the 12 foot high but then obviously that makes your bed more expensive the higher you get um so i don't know you guys let me know your thoughts i did say take some pictures of the prices of lumber because obviously that's going to affect my that's going to affect my my buying capabilities and then how long it's going to take to change each bed because what i think the average or what i was coming up with don't eat my foot what i was coming up with oh my goodness no no what i was coming up with was um don't um the puppies are distracting me what i was coming up with was about 35 dollars or 38 dollars per bed which isn't that bad that was another thing i have to count how many beds i have so I'm gonna go ahead and, and go so I can count how many beds I have and and then also I need to change the log raised beds because some of the logs are starting to um, fall apart and then they're they aren't consistent in size and so this way that way I can get lumber and then they could all be consistent in size so it's just a lot to think about we got really really windy because it's supposed to start thundering you guys let me know down in the comments what you think and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.